said to him, "It is not lawful for you to have her." Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people, for they regarded him as a prophet. But at a birthday celebrated for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before guests and delighted Herod so much. That he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, "Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist." The king was distressed, but because of his oath and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given. And he had John beheaded in prison. His head was brought in on a platter and gave it to the girl, who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him. And they went and told Jesus, "Dear brothers and sisters." The Gospel of the Lord. We know nowadays in our society, a moral standard is very low, and there's no morality anymore. We sometimes speculate, and people do not know what is right and what is wrong.、Uh, even some people say, "Oh, it's their life." And whatever they do,、uh, it depend,、uh, depends on them. If they they think it's right,、uh, what's your business to thinking to tell him or tell her it's wrong? That's why、um, people cannot distinguish what is right and what is wrong anymore, because we do not preach、uh, the Ten Commandments to people. Our people even to,、uh, want to reject. God's law and God's rule and God's commandment, and we reject God. Whenever we do that, then the society become chaos, and we do not distinguish、uh, what is right and what is wrong. And、uh, John Baptist, he's a, a prophet, and he know that he said by God、uh, to do tremendous things in the world, especially. Prepare the way of the Lord, and he he could choose other ways to die,、uh, but he simply want to defend God's commandment, and in order to prepare the way of the Lord, think about how John died, a、uh, hero, very powerful ruler of the territory in Jesus and John's,、uh, where Jesus and John lived,、uh, in Galilee. And、uh, he want to marry his brother's wife,、um, Herodias, and、uh, then John came to him. He know that it's a great danger if he speak up,、um, because、uh, Herod,、uh, Herod could really kill him. He know that exactly, but、uh, he was not afraid、uh, to speak up. It is wrong for you to marry your brother's wife. That's God commandment. And you breaking God's commandment, and no matter how powerful Herod was, and he tell him, and you cannot do that. So that's the courage that John display. And also think about ah,、uh, and John supposed to prepare the way of the Lord, but the way he died, how could he die in that way? It's a way of preparing for the way of the Lord, and we know. That Jesus came, also came speak the truth, and telling the truth to the world and to each of us, especially to the people and lived at, at that time. So Jesus want to reveal the truth, as John did. So John that died that way, and because Herod Herod was powerful, and he want to eliminate John, and Herod had a great respect. For John, even he was arrested, he didn't want to kill him. And now Jesus come, and、uh, because of the way Jesus teach the the way that Jesus perform mighty deeds, 
Yeah, Harold said to people, here is another John. John has been raised from the dead. He's powerful. He's speaking the truth. He know. Yeah, Harold know that a prophet speak truth, uh, like uh, John the Baptist, like Jesus Christ. So sometimes uh, we also, as Catholic living in this world, we compromise, and uh, we do not speak the truth. Yeah, we thinking, oh yes, uh, that's the way of their life. Uh, they have truth in that. Uh, so we let it go, and uh, we do not uh, speak about it. But uh, if we do not defend the truth, who will defend it? And uh, it's happening in our church, in the society, even in our family. And uh, our children choose one way to live. And then we say, oh, it's their way of life. And uh, I cannot say anything to him or to her. Uh, as long as he's happy, and uh, that's fine with me. But uh, happiness, we know true happiness, is uh, really finding in Jesus Christ, in believing in Jesus Christ, in eternal life. That's the truth we are speaking about. And we not just live the life, happy life in this world. We, our Catholic faith and Jesus revealed to each of us, we find happiness in eternal life. Each of us have to go to heaven, have to go to heaven in order to enjoy eternal life. So let us pray. And uh, it's very hard to live in this society uh, because of uh, relativism. Yeah, everybody believes yeah, truth is relative. Uh, whatever the way you find the truth, it's truth for you. So, but it's not so. And uh, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Uh, Jesus is the truth. So let us come to our loving God and never give up, have a great hope uh, in Jesus Christ. And uh, always uh, pray. Uh, pray that we uh, pray for the world and uh, pray for converging of people. Uh, pray that we may have courage uh, to really defend what Jesus taught and defend what we have received in our Catholic faith. So in that way, uh, uh, peace and justice can truly reign in the world. If we do not have Jesus Christ, we do, if we do not uh, preach about truth, look at what's happening in the world if we do not defend. So let us uh, pray and uh, have great hope in our Lord Jesus Christ as our blessed mother, uh, especially give us a conviction, give us a courage to preach about Jesus Christ uh, who preached the truth. Uh, we offer this Mass uh, for living and deceased of a confraternity of St. Anne. And uh, we also pray for Melanie <laughs> Farmer, as she, she celebrates birthday, we pray for blessing upon her. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, and the Lord. For our praise and glory of God's name, for our good, good of His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayer of your people with sacrificial offerings that is through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name as we commemorate our blessed mother, Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten son without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and power tremble before you. Uh, heaven and the virtue of the heaven, and blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, or who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, as saviors commanded from the by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day of daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay with all his regard amude, miserere nobi. On you stay with all his regard amude, miserere nobi. On you stay with all his regard Dona no mi pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A message ended. Go in peace. Yes, be to God. Oh, the 